deal with him was the temperature there was like, I think it was 86 or 88, mm -hmm. uh, but there was real high humidity. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a whole, he's a relatively young guy. It Big doesn't take, shape. yeah, it yeah. doesn't take a whole lot, you know, for people to start to have problems. Thank, thankfully, it was just heat exhaustion, not heat stroke. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, some seriously lasting issues once you have heat stroke. So yeah, he was smart to get off stage. Call Absolutely. It a day and no no doubt. And that's yeah. why, you know, we want to encourage people just to stay inside, do what you can to stay cool, you know, keep an eye on your elderly neighbors or just your neighbors in general, I think. And then, of course, your kids and don't do what in the heck they were doing in Boston. What was that all about? Yeah. Do you consider yourself an elderly neighbor? Well, it depends on who my other neighbors are, Chris. I'm sure some I'm, of I'm getting close to it. I'm sure some well, of my know, neighbors think know, I'm elderly. I, know, I was going to say, well, I know at, some of my neighbors probably think that way. At my I gym, mean. there's special parking for seniors 55 plus. Wow. God, that's, I mean, what kind of gym are you going to? <laughs> Shaming people that are 50 something? Or healthy people who are yeah. 50 something. You know what bothers me at my gym, and I'm not kidding, and then I'm going to get into weather, is the, is the guy who pulls up who looks perfectly healthy you know, who's like 28 years old, and yeah, he knows who I'm talking about him yeah. if he's watching, and he walks and he parks in the handicap spot because no. he's got the handicap, now he's got a handicap oh, sticker. Okay. He parks in the but handicap. he walks just fine. He walks totally fine, yeah. and he's up there working out harder than anybody in the gym. I'm like, oh, that maybe maybe his, it's a family member that he has that card, the handicap mm. card, but I'm like, dude, but you're not handicapped. It's not for you. <laughs> Makes me mad every day I see this guy. I don't know his name either. I'd say his name. Yeah, Let me I'm show sure you this. You I've said something to him at the gym. I'm like, do you yeah. really need that? And he's like, well, you know. And now he doesn't watch your news, your oh weather cast anymore. Well, he pro <laughs> you know what, Cynthia? Looking at him, I can tell by looking at him, he probably watches another station in town. <laughs> He's one of those people. 105 oh. degrees. That was a high today. It looked like we were going to hit 106, which would have made it the hottest temperature so far this year. Uh, but we didn't hit a record today. At this point, still 105. Kyle, did we hear back? Still 105. It was interesting. We had for just a moment, we touched 106 a couple of times, but the official record keepers say 105 was the sustained high temperature. We did hit 109 back in 1980. That's the record for this day. And the number of triple digit days this summer, the normal today to six, we've had 11. And remember, the, the normal for the whole summer is 20. So, you know, we're on pace to you know, if we keep going like this, we're going to be on pace to surpass that 20. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the newscast, the entire Metroplex and all of North Texas is not under an excessive heat warning, but a big chunk under that excessive heat warning due to heat index values of 110 plus everywhere else is under a heat advisory. So here's the deal. I mean, I kind of feel like we're kind of, I, I don't know, this is kind of getting into the minutia, into the weeds of this. My point is, it's hot everywhere. And please, whether you're in this one or in this one, please take the same precautions, okay? So hot temps in place. We had a nice soaking rain from some locations yesterday. Not everyone picked it up. Drought has uh, reemerged in North Texas, and it typically does. During, rarely do we have enough rain in the summer for drought not to come back, but it has come back. And, you know, it never rains in Denton. And clearly, or Fort Worth or Indicator, because severe drought has uh, returned in these uh, light tanned areas, that's moderate drought. And then it's, it's really, I mean, drought is gone up in the panhandle. The last 30 days, the panhandle has seen beneficial rain, but right down here, that's hill country. Hill country right now is still problematic. It's one of the driest spots in the United States. Extreme to exceptional drought down uh, between Austin and San Antonio. The other big concern we have, not only the heat, but with the heat and the dry conditions comes an elevated fire risk. It's anywhere from Denton, Gainesville, and Fort Worth, and Cleburne, and West. That's where we have our elevated fire danger. Hot, dry, uh, drought in place, dry fuels, breeze and low humidity. It's a bad combination, so please take note of the, the elevated fire danger there. 82 and muggy tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll hit 106. If we make it to that, that would be the hottest temperature so far this season. It's not a record. Look at the record. I put them there for your viewing pleasure on the 10 day forecast. The record high tomorrow is 110 back in 1980. No records in the forecast, but lots of triple digits. But mixed in with that right in the middle of the 10 day forecast is a little break for the weekend. Another chance of rain Saturday and Sunday, not triple digits, still hot, but a little bit cooler than the next few days.